Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today on another video. Today is a really, really exciting video because I am partnering up with Parfums de Marley to bring you guys this video. I will be talking about two of their staple perfumes that you guys have already heard about a ton. And I'm so excited that uh, they were sweet enough to meet up with me, talk to me about the brand and also partnering up with me on this video. It is actually a little mind blowing because I just discovered Parfums de Marley not too long ago fell in love with the brand and their fragrances and now here we are we're doing a video together so thank you so much to all of you guys who have shown so much love and support on this type of content I am so blown away by the response and I'm completely in love with creating this type of video for you guys so thank you thank you so much for allowing these type of opportunities to happen to me and I'm so excited for what else is there to come but let me stop rambling on let's get into this video and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel give it a big thumbs up as it helps me reach other people and also leave your feedback down below because I love love chatting with you guys in the comment section so before I get into the fragrances I do want to let you know that if you live in Toronto Parfums de Marley will be at the Nordstrom inside Yorkdale Mall for an event on the 7th so that is on a Saturday December 7th I will leave more detail in the description box but this is an amazing way to really get to know the brand hear a ton of information try out the fragrances so go out to that event it is going to be really really great i will be there too so if you guys want to chat with me meet me then come along and we can all be familiar with the brand i wasn't aware that uh parfums de marley was sold at nordstrom and yes they are you can get all of their fragrances there as well as online so i'm going to also leave in the description box the stores that it's available within canada because i know it can be a little tough fighting this perfume so you can go ahead and try it out before you purchase but I'm gonna leave that information there as well as the information on the event let me know if you guys can attend I would love to see you there so definitely leave that in the comments section well, today I'm actually gonna be talking about these two beauties over here Delina, which you guys know that I absolutely love and rave about all of the time. This has become my signature scent I'm not even gonna lie when I wear this I just feel amazing I feel just beautiful and I get so many compliments I'm gonna chat about more on this one very very soon and then we have Casil, which is fairly new to my channel I haven't really talked about this one yet but I have been trying this out for about a week now so I have all my thoughts together and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of both and in terms of which one I would get first that also I will share with you guys. So let's start by talking about Delina, which is ever so popular. When I started watching fragrance videos, this is the one that would come up the most. And I was like, I really need to try this out. And then I found out that they had it at Nordstrom and I went to my local Nordstrom and tried a sample of this. Now they did not have the bottle for me to see and like really play around with it, but they did give me a little sample and I was pretty in love pretty in love it was love at first sight the smell of Delina is really unique it's beautiful it's captivating it is fruity fresh floral creamy sweet mellow it's lovely it really is a unique scent so the notes within this fragrance the top note is bergamot rhubarb lychee and nutmeg and then we have the middle notes which is turkish rose peony patilia vanilla and musk and then our base notes is cashmere haitian vetvir cedar and incense this was created in 2017 and it has just grown so much in terms of its popularity especially this year it's really just doing amazing and for all the right reasons like I'm a number one fan of Delina I'm not gonna lie uh, when you first spray this fragrance over here oh my gosh it's everything it really is everything you will get that uh, kick of rhubarb and lychee when you first spray it. It's just gorgeous. It's refreshing. It's very like clean. 
and then it starts to dry down and you start to get those notes of the florals the, the turkish rose is beautiful the musk starts to pull full a little vanilla not overwhelming whatsoever like i don't get a ton of vanilla but definitely the fruits and the floral are very predominant in that dry down and it just turns into the most lovely scent that compliments every single woman no matter your age no matter the occasion no matter the time of the day this scent really just suits anyone and anywhere you are it just suits that time and place it's really really beautiful it's sweet again fresh and just creamy it's really really creamy um, some people do say it's powdery but in my opinion I don't get a ton of that powderiness from this it's more of a creamy silky um, vibe that I get from Delina and it's just gorgeous. Now, the lasting ability on this, on my skin, it's going to last me about seven to eight hours on the clothes days. I love to spray this on my scarf, on my jacket, and it can just stay there for days and days. It really is beautiful. The sillage is pretty amazing. I get so many compliments when I wear this perfume. People um, that I see on a daily basis have already caught on that this is basically my signature scent because I wear it so often. And at least two to three people will ask me what I'm wearing. I'm interacting with people on a regular basis and I definitely get questions on what perfume I'm wearing. Usually it's Delina and I have to really tell myself to put it down because I review a ton of fragrances and I have to try and give time to try out other ones but this is my fave for sure. I didn't even talk about I mean the presentation of these fragrances. Absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking. This is high quality it's not your average perfume bottle it's very distinct it's very high quality like I said it's absolutely gorgeous so much detail went into creating this bottle over here and I just appreciate every inch of it and you can definitely see the quality in the perfume in the presentation it reflects on the price this is not a cheap um, fragrance but again the ingredients the notes the presentation it really does speak for itself Delina also does come in other forms so if you really don't have the coin to get the perfume like I said it's quite pricey you can opt for the hairspray which looks like this and um, you do get a great amount of product in here so there is 75 ml or 2.5 fluid ounces and this is also sold at Nordstrom if you're interested and it's a really great way to introduce yourself to Delina it has great scent it smells exactly like the perfume and um, I tend to spray this on my clothes and also on my hair so great great way to try it out and another form of Delina is a candle a candle I'm saving this for when I move. This is going to be my bedroom candle because it just smells exactly like Delina and I would love this in my room. I want everything to smell like Delina. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie. So now I have Casile and this one is a new one to Perfumes de Marley. This was created in 2019, so this year. And this is considered a oriental floral fragrance. The bottle is very, very similar to Delina, but it has a different tone. It has this peachy tone to it really really pretty I just I love the bottle honestly I really do when I place this on my vanity it just looks absolutely gorgeous so the notes in Casile top notes is red currant uh Bulgarian rose and white flowers and then the middle notes we have plum mimosa frangipan and patilia and the base notes we have sandalwood tonka bean vanilla this and Delina are very different. I don't see them as similar at all. They're very unique um, from each other, very different. This has more of this balsamic kind of vibe to it. It's floral, it's sour when you first spray it, but in all the good ways. Um, it's fruity also. Uh, it's very playful. I find it a little bit more young. It has a bit of a tartness to it and like this peachy vibe it's still 
in the fresh element, but a little bit more balsamic, a little bit more tart than Delina. I'm just going to spray it so I can really reminisce on the scent right here. Mm, mm, yeah, that. They're totally different, totally different. They're beautiful in their own way, unique in their own way. So if you love something a little softer, a little more feminine, um, likable, angelic, lovely, beautiful, think of those words. Think of like a bride. That is Delina to me. Casile is still very feminine. It's still beautiful but it has more of that tartiness to it a little bit more spice to it I want to say than Delina it has a bit of it, it has a punch to it you know what I mean like it has a kick to it I'm really trying to describe it <laughs> as well as I can but it's still very sweet it's still floral it's young it's warm it's very very warm compared to Delina so gorgeous for the winter months or the fall also but you do really get this like fresh element from this peachy feel. Now, I didn't read that there's like peach notes in this fragrance, but I do get that. I do get that hint of peachiness to it. Now, this one is a little bit more powdery, I find, rather than Delina. I feel this one has a little bit more of that powdery vibe to it. You do get that Bulgarian rose, the white flowers. It's really, really predominant. The mimosa is gorgeous. Now, the base notes, which is the sandalwood, the tonka bean, and the vanilla, vanilla, they're not super duper predominant to me. I'm getting more of the florals. I'm getting more of that plum, that mimosa. So that's why it gives me more of that balsamic, warm type of vibe. It's gorgeous. It really is beautiful. So I would say that both of them are uniquely gorgeous and beautiful. They are very different from one another, like I said. Delina is that very beautiful, floral, creamy, silky scent. Very beautiful, very lovely, very feminine. And Casile has a little bit more tart to it. It has a little bit more punch to it. It's a warmer. Um, it's balsamic. It definitely is still on the fruity side. And I think more fruity than Delina, in my opinion. So they are very different from one another, but still, I love them both. I would have them both in my collection like I do right now um, because they are totally different scents. Uh, Casil, I can still see myself wearing this any time of the day, but definitely in the colder months, I think this is really appropriate because it has a little bit more warmth to it, um, but still a little fresh element with that peach it's really hard to describe the parfums de molly scents because they are so unique and so well blended they just sit on the skin beautifully like they really mesh with your skin and make you feel a certain way like when i wear delina i feel beautiful i feel graceful and then this one i feel a little bit more sexy a little bit more warmth i just i love the way that they blend these perfumes together i do get way more compliments when i wear delina for sure like delina i will get compliments on a daily basis if i wear it every day someone even if it's one person someone will ask me or will compliment me on this perfume now casil i did get compliments but not as much as delina so just keep that in mind it's still a really beautiful beautiful scent if you want more warmth if you want a little bit more powdery i would probably tell you to go for casil but again, they're very different. They're very uniquely beautiful. So I would honestly have both of them in my collection. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and heard something new and cool today. Again, thank you so much to Perfumes de Marley for partnering up with me on this video. And again, do not forget that they will be in Toronto. I will leave all of the information down below about the event as well as stores like boutiques and Nordstrom's that you can go ahead and get your hands on this fragrance. As I know most of you were questioning where to try it out, I was also 
episode in the beginning. So I'm going to leave all of that information down there. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you have tried out these fragrances as well as other Parfum de Mali fragrances. I do want to do another video really touching up on other scents that they have to offer. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy about this video. I love this brand. It has quickly climbed its way to the top. I think this is definitely one of my favorite niche brands because their fragrances do not disappoint. I've tried a few of them and honestly, I'm blown away by the quality, by the presentation and everything about the brand. The philosophy is amazing, amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao.